Hello my friends. In recent years, the free-range method of raising chickens has become increasingly popular, as their meat is preferred to chickens raised on factory farms. Today, we are going to European chicken farms to see how millions of chickens here are raised on the free-range farms. For a long time, large-scale industrial chicken farming has been considered a very popular and relatively profitable business. Over 37 billion chickens are raised annually to provide an important source of food and contribute greatly to the world economy, especially for countries with modern agriculture like Europe. You know, one of the first industrial chicken farming methods proposed in 1960 and applied to this day is free-range chicken farming. This is a farming method in which animals will have at least a few hours a day to perform their natural behaviours, instead of being confined in a cage for 24 hours a day. As you can see, the image of free-range chickens is like birds roaming in the vast grasslands, enjoying a happy, natural life. Currently, many farms have switched to free-range farming, or raised in cages with large space instead of narrow cages. This is considered a bright spot in the livestock industry in European countries. According to EC estimates, the conversion rate to free-range chicken farming has increased by 1.1% year-on-year. In particular, in the Netherlands, many poultry farms have abandoned the cage model to switch to raising free-range chickens. For chicken farms, following the conventional barn model, chickens will be fixed by humans according to certain portions and doses. But for free-range chickens, in addition to the main foods that are rice, corn and synthetic bran, they can also find other foods such as grass and insects to supplement their nutrients. After many years of breeding experience of farmers in Belgium, in order to achieve high efficiency, it is necessary to pay attention to a number of factors when selecting breeds and arranging barns. In the process of raising, they regularly control diseases and pests to avoid outbreaks in their poultry populations. We will not have a general rule for raising chickens. Each farmer will have a different way, and this depends on the economic and environmental conditions of their farm. Normally, the barn will be designed so that the chickens are raised in a clean, dry environment with enough light and wind. The purpose of this is to ensure safety. This will also make it more convenient for the farmer to take care of the chickens. For free-range chickens, the barn model will be more spacious, able to accommodate a large number of chickens and have ventilation to create a comfortable environment for them. Let's visit a free-range chicken farm in the UK. You see, if the weather conditions permit, the farmers here will release them in fields or large hills like this. Here, the chickens can eat, drink, run and jump freely. They will then herd them into the barn at night or in bad weather. Food safety requirements for poultry farmers are quite complex. Therefore, raising chickens not only requires patience and hard work, but people also have to be creative to develop. Reginaldo, a chicken farm owner in Belgium, tells how he manages risks and successfully grazes chickens in his agroforestry system. This creativity has helped Reginaldo achieve proud results for his farm. Some farms will prepare their own feed from farm produce to supplement nutrients for chickens. 
similar to the agroforestry model. This helps farmers avoid wasting agricultural products and their chickens also have more food sources. On a small farm in eastern France, this farmer can harvest up to 850 eggs a day. If raised correctly, the egg production is very high. The sad thing is that nowadays, most chickens are raised for raw eggs on factory farms, with absolutely no way to the outdoors. Most of them spend their entire lives in small cages. There are very few hens raised on free-range farms, as we have seen in this video. Chickens are birds that are quite sensitive to weather temperatures. Depending on their age, they will have different levels of heat tolerance. Long-time workers at this chicken farm share the fact that they regularly check the temperature, humidity and light conditions to ensure the health of the chickens. Most breeders find that the broiler breed has a relatively rapid development process. Both the chicken stage and the adult stage fall around four to six weeks. However, chicken breeds that lay eggs will need a longer development time. At the chicken stage, they need 18 to 22 weeks. To adulthood, the development of egg laying hens will last from 50 to 60 weeks. In addition, farm owners often have to pay attention to the provisions of the law on food safety and environment when carrying out industrial chicken farming. Proper implementation of the industrial chicken farming process will help improve productivity and economic efficiency in industrial chicken production while ensuring product quality and food safety for customers. Hello everyone. Today we are going to sheep farms in the United States to see how millions of sheep here are raised. According to statistics, in 2021, in the United States, there are 100,000 sheep farms with more than 5 million heads. Currently, up to 80% of sheep in the United States are raised on large-scale farms. Most large-scale sheep farms are concentrated in states like Texas, California, and Colorado. This is different from sheep in other countries like China, Australia, or New Zealand. The majority of sheep are raised in the United States for the purpose of meat, with the number of sheep raised for wool in the country only about 17%. Every year in the United States, about 1.7 million sheep are born, and up to 37% of them are born in Texas and California. On average, each ewe gives birth to two to three young. Newborn lambs usually weigh eight to 12 pounds, and they will live with their mother for nine weeks before weaning. These are lambs with health problems. They are separated by breeders for medical monitoring. This is a sheep breeding farm in California with more than 700 ewes. Every year on this farm, about 1,500 lambs are born. These lambs will stay here for two months before being moved to graze in other agricultural lands. Currently in California, there are about 9,300 sheep farms with the number of about 557,000 heads, accounting for 10% of the country's sheep population. According to the census in 2021, the total number of sheep slaughtered in California is 222,800 heads and lamb production is 13.6 million pounds. Mm -hmm. 
these workers are cutting sheep's tails. Sheep tailing or docking is usually done when the sheep reach about two weeks of age. Trimming the sheep's tails is an important job on farms. This helps prevent flies and parasites from attacking the anal area of the sheep. In addition, this also helps the mating process later to bring better efficiency. These are two month old sheep on a ranch in Idaho and they have just undergone tail cutting. Currently in Idaho, there are about 4,000 sheep farms with a total number of 248,000 sheep, accounting for 4.8% of the country's sheep population. This is a sheep farm in Colorado and this breed is called Suffolk. All sheep on this farm are raised for the purpose of meat. Every year on this farm, about 1,300 sheep are born. According to statistics in 2020, in Colorado, there are about 6,100 sheep farms and the number is around 368,000 heads accounting for 7.8% of the sheep population of the country. Lambs are considered sexually mature when they reach six to eight months of age, at which point their weight ranges from 66 to 83 pounds. At this farm, the food used for sheep is mainly corn, hay, and the breeding sheep will be fed with grain. On average, each sheep will need to eat 3% of its body weight per day. This is the process of removing hair from the anal region of adult sheep. Even though these sheep have had their tails cut, their thick anal hairs are still ideal habitats for parasites and flies. This is a herd of sheep in Texas and they are being brought to the pastures to feed freely. Currently, Texas is the state with the largest number of sheep in the United States, with about 747,000 heads, accounting for 14% of the country's sheep population. Like the cattle herds in Texas, the sheep here are also regularly moved from pasture to pasture to feed. Annually, the number of sheep slaughtered in Texas is about 306 thousand heads and the state's lamb production is about 19 million pounds. The grazing of thousands of sheep in Texas is also aided by these sheepdogs which help rangers protect sheep from attack by coyotes. This is the sheep bathing process. The adult sheep will be bathed every two weeks. This helps protect them from attack by lice and other parasites. This is the last trip of the sheep. This period from eight to 10 months old is when thousands of sheep are transferred to lamb processing plants. At this plant, sheep are anaesthetized using an electric current before slaughter can begin.
annually in the United States between 2.2 and 2.3 million sheep are slaughtered and the average annual production of lamb is about 137 million pounds. On average, each American consumes five pounds of lamb per year. In addition to the amount of lamb produced domestically, the United States also imports most of its lamb meat from Australia and New Zealand. 